Hello, my name is Jill Parkinson and the company is Shook Limited. I'm here today to ask the Dragons for an investment of £120,000 in return for an 18% share of the company. First of all, I'd like you to imagine this scenario. You've just arrived at your hotel after a long and tiring journey and you're really looking forward to a nice relaxing and refreshing shower. So you go into the hotel bathroom, you find a mixer tap arrangement with a shower hose on the top but nowhere to hang the shower head. The result is you end up showering one-handed. Shampooing and rinsing your hair is really difficult. You have the shower head between your knees and there's water spraying everywhere. The whole experience is really frustrating. Well now, there's a solution to that problem and it's called a shook. A shook is a brand new portable shower head holder. The brand name and the logo are registered trademarks and the product itself has intellectual property protection in the EU, USA and Australia. But best of all, let me show you how easy it is to use. All you do is you position the shook against a flat tiled surface at a height of your choice, press the soft blue buttons at the front, which then depress the suction cups at the back and secure the unit uh, securely to the tiles. <coughs> Pop in your shower head, and there you have it. This is a unique opportunity to become a part of the success of Shook. Thank you. Jill Parkinson is confident that her portable shower head holder has great market potential. She's offering the Dragons 18% of her business for a £120,000 investment in the hope that they will agree. But Peter Jones needs some clarification. Jill, I'm Peter. Hi, Peter. Um, I'm about to have a sensible conversation with you because you presented quite well, but I just don't get it. I don't get why I would tra travel around the countryside with one of these items in my bag when I'm staying at various hotels. Okay, the number of times that I've come across this situation has been incredibly frequent and this will help solve the Give problem. Me an, where? Where did you last go? Where? You uh, Budapest, for example. Budapest? Yeah, Budapest, they had uh, just a shower hose. And when do you think the, the normal average person perhaps is going well, to travel tomorrow are, to Budapest. There are 3.2 million people in this country who go to Greece every year for a start. And what's wrong with Greece? Well, Greece is uh, one of the classic destinations where they just do not have shower head holders. But if I go into a hotel, I go and have a bath. If or if, <laughs> if there's something that's not a bath there, I go into the shower that's there. I mean, I don't know where you're going, where you're going to need a shook everywhere you go. Yeah, I think you're focusing far too much on the holiday and travel market and not seeing the bigger picture here, Peter. As I say, Greece is... Hold on, Jill. <laughs> Jill, that's what you started off your presentation with. <laughs> in terms of demonstrating this product in the three minutes I had, I chose holiday and travel. It's not going to apply everywhere, but where it does apply, it is a useful product to have. But people aren't going to... They're not going to... <sighs> Jill, seriously, you, okay. you, you need a good shake. This is, this is not going to happen. <laughs> it's a bad start for Jill. Is Theo Pafitis about to add to her woes? Jill, I'm Theo. You know, and I know what you're talking about. When mm -hmm. you go into a hotel sometimes and there isn't a shower clip, but there is a head. Mm -hmm. It's normally because the design of the bathroom doesn't lend itself for it. So not only is there gaps at the front or the back of the bath, hence there's no shower holder, but there's no curtain. Water's going everywhere. How are you dealing with it? If you go into a bathroom, a hotel bathroom, and you have a mixer tap arrangement with a shower hose on top of it, you will have either a plastic shower curtain or you will have a, a plastic shower shield. Well, why haven't they just, just put a holder for it then? Exactly. That's why we have shook. Yeah, but the thing is, that's not true. Yeah. That just is not true. Because the reason why people put those fittings and put them on baths is very simple because when you're sitting in the bath, it's used to be able to wash your hair with while you're sitting in the bath. You're not there to use it as a shower extension. Jill, I just don't think 
Pierre and Theo understand the problem. I mean, <laughs> explain. You know, it's terrible. But you know, the answer is to stay in a decent hotel. <laughs> You'd be amazed how many decent hotels have that arrangement, believe well, me. Well, I haven't found one. But as I say, holiday and travel is just one market. Oh, right? what other market is there? We've got gift, obviously. It's a, a, a travel accessory gift that you can buy for somebody. But that's the same market. Travel. Well, if for travel, if you if want to travel, buy it for a travel accessory, you, market, might, you might want to buy you it for your, your girlfriend who's just, go to the first just had a baby and wants some help at bath time rinsing the toddler's hair. There's pet care to help people washing their dogs. There's home carers who want to have more flexibility in their bathroom than a rigid set um, shower or walk-in shower. So there are different markets for it. Holiday and travel is just, just one. Yeah. Despite her best efforts, Jill is struggling to make the dragons take her product seriously. James Kahn is puzzled about the precise details of the deal she's hoping to strike. Uh, Jill, hi, I'm James. <laughs> Hello, James. Uh, <clears throat> I've just had a curiosity. Where did you get 18% from? Why not 19? Why not 15? Why 18? Because I don't own the whole company, it's 50-50. So 18% is what, what's been agreed with uh, my other business partner and myself. And what are you valuing the business at? Just over £600,000. Which was based on? Well, that, that's based on selling 2,000 units a month in the first year and 8,000 units... 2,000 units a month? Yes, and 8,000 units in the second year. 8,000 units a month in mm -hmm. the second year? Mm-hmm. Uh, sorry, how many have you sold? We've just sold over 350. In how long? Um, we've been going since about, uh, sorry, January this year. What's happened is, I would say, out of those sales, two-thirds of those sales have been generated by two articles in the press. We've been going on a soft launch. So where we've had the awareness, we've had customers ringing up saying, this is exactly what I want. So what press articles have you had? Um, I've been featured in the Daily Express and I've also been featured in Woman magazine. And you've sold 350 units and you've just told James that we're going to sell 8,000 a month mm -hmm. in two years' time. Uh, do you know the hole that you're digging yourself into here? Deborah Meaden is staggered by the ambition of Jill's financial projections given the reality of her actual sales figures. The pitch is going from bad to worse. Now, Duncan Bannatyne is curious about Jill's background. Tell me a little bit about your journey. How did you come here? How did I come here? What have you done with your life? I was running a marketing consultancy. Was it successful? Yes, it was, yes. But so, this, this took over, so... So how much have you put into this? Uh, about 100,000. So who, who's this partner you've got? Um, I'd have to call him Mr X for, for the purposes of this exercise. Why? <laughs> because he's not involved in the business full time and therefore has other commitments, so it wouldn't be fair to do that. Does he put in £100,000 as well? Yes. So the business has taken £200,000 investment so far? It has. And what's that been spent on? It's been spent on intellectual property protection. It's How much did you spend on that? Uh, probably about um, £85,000, £90,000. £85,000, £90,000? Okay. And so in the rest? The rest, tooling. Yeah. The actual tooling to make the, um, the shook unit itself. Packaging, the website. To 200,000 investors so far, and you've sold 350 units. Mm hmm And how much money have you made on that 350 units? Well, I haven't made any money. But in terms of sales figures, it's about, it's about 7,000 pounds. <laughs> Jill, um, I think you're in cuckoo land. I'll just make it simple for Jill. OK. I'm out. Any confidence James Kahn might have had in Jill's business acumen has evaporated. Deborah Meaden is ready to deliver some home truths. Jill, can I just tell you where I am? Yes. I really, really, really wish you'd come on to Dragon's Den a year ago. Mm-hmm. Because I think we could have saved you two hundred thousand pounds mm -hmm. because I've got to tell you this is not a good idea and you've proved it mm. you spent a lot of money you've got good exposure you yourself are in sales and marketing mm. you've got a product that you have put personally one hundred thousand pounds on the line mm. you've sold 350 so I'm afraid you know where I'm going I'm out okay 
Uh, Jill, yes. I'll be short and sweet. OK. I'm out. Only two dragons are still in. Jill's running out of options and Peter Jones is running out of patience. You probably will sell a few. And do you know why you'll sell a few? Because you've had a bit of press, you've got a website, you're getting out there. And do you know what? There are people that buy rubbish. <laughs> this is not rubbish, Peter. But you can't say that this is a product that this has any holding at all. Product and it has five very good markets that will give it all. Year it doesn't have any sense. market. It doesn't. We're about to go into the States. We've got a 60 second commercial going into the States. How much did that cost you? That cost me $8,000. And the company who've approached us were recommended by the Electronic Retail Association, who are a very, very good association. They believe in the product. I think to contemplate selling 2,000 units a month, you, you're not. You're not in this planet. It's just ridiculous. Mm. So well, I'm going to say I'm out. OK. Jill. I don't know why you came in and started talking about travel. And every time we pick up on it, you keep saying, us, oh, don't focus on that. That was a bad mistake. You're an intelligent, bright person. We can see that. You've developed this. But somewhere something's gone terribly wrong. This I can see selling at markets for a fiver. It isn't a long-lasting business. And you really need to reconsider for spending any more money on it. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, Jill, I'm out as well. OK, okay thank you. Jill, thank you very much. Despite a determined effort, Jill has failed to win the support of any dragons, and she leaves the den empty-handed.